Now we uh, are now we're good. live. Oh, and everyone sees this. We won't exactly be live, but we might do some live ones later. Yeah, well, I think it's live. We're alive, right? Yeah, we're live. Hey, how you doing? Oh, pretty good. Just playing some music. <laughs> it's getting yeah. real. So, this is Andrew Polico out in New Hampshire, and I'm Brett Horton. I'm sitting here in Oklahoma right now. How, how is it out in New <laughs> Hampshire today? Uh, New Hampshire's cold, man. It's, it's like four degrees outside. <laughs> four degrees? Yeah, yeah, dude. Four degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. That's a lot What's colder than zero Celsius. Cold, yeah. What is what's the wind chill out there? Uh yesterday it was minus one, so I think maybe it's a little warmer because out my window there's like this hill and my neighbor has these little flags like these little like not like fl big flags like those little like prayer flags that people hang up on like uh, so they kind of move in the wind and yesterday I looked out and they were like completely horizontal oh, and now wow. and now today they're just like yeah. <laughs> Just doing their thing, their little flag thing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so I think the so, wind chill is a little, a little bit better today. So, you, <laughs> <laughs> but you have no idea what it is. Couldn't tell you. I haven't checked. <laughs> but it's supposed just to get some snow, it? man. It's supposed to get a big it's old snowstorm. Snowy outside. On Monday, Monday night. It's just a. Uh, it's just a. Um, I don't know. It's just a normal. Winter day in uh, in New Hampshire, huh? Good old New Hampshire. Yeah. 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 I live sort of live sort of near the ocean, and uh, so sometimes when the storms come in, it turns to rain, so it's a little warmer by the water. But I don't think this time. We'll see. Never know. We're getting yeah, less not, snow every year, though. Uh, yeah. I'm not even sure about here. You know, it'll be freezing. You know, in the twenties or. I mean, it gets really windy here sometimes. And then the next day, it'll be like, you know, like a spring day. And like yesterday, I woke up and it was just raining all day. Yeah. And then, and then, um, and it was really cold. And then in the afternoon, the rain went away and it became like 60 degrees for, for a few hours. And the sun came out and went on a walk. And then, and then when the sun went down, it just went back to winter time again. So, you know, we'll, we'll, <laughs> that's awesome. Through. <laughs> Will Rogers, you know, he says his famous quote is, if you don't like the weather in Oklahoma, stick around, it'll change. So, <laughs> I feel like everywhere has a quote like that, because they say, if you don't like the weather in New England, just wait five minutes or something like that. <laughs> so it's <just> everywhere. Then. <laughs> Everyone thinks that their weather is so special, you know? Yeah. And well, if I it's consistent, it's then it's like a selling point. You could be like, come to California. It's always uh, 70, I don't know. Well, actually, it's on fire. But besides that, Come right. on, we love tourists. <laughs> but people out there get tired of the of how there's never a change of seasons. You know, they have to complain about that because <laughs> um, <laughs> they complain. That, oh man, the weather is so nice. I'm sick of it. But I man. think it is extra strange here in Oklahoma. I mean, I always say that the weather is. I like to say that it's schizophrenic. You know. So yeah, dude. Makes I can see that. <laughs> it's anyway, like the yeah. sort of place that would get like a cool ice storm every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, I was, um, yeah, I was kind of like running around, you know, and I, I, I'm, I'm still eating uh, some ramen right here, so I don't know how. It, <laughs> oh yeah, I can't I, eat like ramen <laughs> very, uh, like. I heard that you're supposed to eat ramen as like fast as you can, you know. I don't know. Yeah, it's like already dry. I don't know how um, graceful you can eat ramen on camera. So, do you, <laughs> okay, so. Polico, uh, you, you want to do a song? Uh, he's going to do a song, uh, I think. Um, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I got some songs. Yeah, so I can um, switch to the gallery view right here and, and have some ramen. Go for it here in a second. Sounds good. Yeah. Do a little uh, dinner music. I guess it's lunch music. I don't know. What time is it in yeah. Oklahoma? Just an hour behind you. Just an hour? Oh, it's yeah. not that bad. Just Geographically yeah. speaking, you know, you're a Probably halfway across the country, but you're only an hour behind. Halfway for sure. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'll play this song. It's called. You've been here before. What was that? I said you've been to Oklahoma before. Yeah, dude. I saw the the <laughs> local local uh, culture. It was awesome. 
It's the first time I ever heard Ween actually it was in Oklahoma. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was, wow. Remember when we got kicked out of that bar and then we went and hung out with your friend? <laughs> Man, yeah. What was his name? I forget. It's Dave. Dave. That's right. Yeah, he. Yeah, that was he, the first time I ever heard Ween. I haven't seen him. I talk to him pretty regularly, but um, I haven't seen him in over a year because he's been uh, just you know hiding away with the with the COVID stuff. But I yeah. think he's maybe gonna come come up here in a few days, so maybe we can have him on the next episode of whatever this is. We don't even have a name for this or know how how many we're gonna do, but we're yeah. thinking about um. Just doing this, who knows, maybe like every week while the quarantine's going on until we get out and start playing yeah. a lot places. So Be cool. Us and our pod reel. <laughs> Podcast and the reels. and All right, I'll play this song. This is a... called I Want to Marry a Lighthouse Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Keeper, keeper company. I want to marry lighthouse keeper, live on the side of the sea. Polishing lamps day by day, boats and ships did find their way. I want to marry lighthouse keeper, wouldn't that be okay? We would walk for miles on a moonlit bay, find a treasure or two. I want to marry a lighthouse keeper, how about you? Yeah, I dream of living in a lighthouse most every single day. Dream of living in a lighthouse, so come on, what do you say? You want to be a keeper too? Come with me, make my dreams come true. I want to marry a lighthouse keeper. How about you? I mean, sail the sea blue, sky green. What's that mean? <laughs> yep. Nice. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> I sort like of that messed it up because I usually that's play. That's an old, old. That's an old ass song, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think you so. You know how old it is? It's older than the than time itself. And that's pretty old. Older than what? Older than time itself. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I heard it. It's on the back of a what's it called? Clockwork Orange. You know the movie? They oh, it's it. in there. It is on the soundtrack. I had like this CD Man. growing up, and I used to hear it. It was the one. Of the, it was the last song on the soundtrack CD. Okay, what part does it come in in the movie? Because I, no I just, I just have you seen the movie? Yeah, I've seen it like a long time ago. I haven't seen okay. it for much reason. So it, I, it must be like background music in like a scene somewhere. Yeah, That's because I'm trying movie. to remember if, if if I if I remember hearing that. <laughs> what is that you're drinking? Is that straight vodka? <laughs> this is straight vodka, ma'am. No, this is a. A growler from Urban Farm Fermentaries. It's a place in uh, Portland. They, they make kombucha, yeah. but this is just water. Good, Supposedly, huh? I'm supposed to drink more than this a day. I don't know. That's what I learned today. <laughs> okay. Growler of water. But anyway, the, yeah, the Clockwork Orange. So, crazily enough, I've only just seen that movie um, just a, a few months ago for the first time because I read the book when I was 15 years old and I was always trying to see the movie. But in the local video store, it was always either checked out or it was stolen or something. So I just like, you know, and then like video stores, you know, eventually just disappeared and it wouldn't be on, you know, Netflix or, or whatever, you know. And then it, I just, I don't know, it just like one time I tried to watch it and something happened. It's one of those movies, you know, it's like we were with a group of people. We were going to watch it and like some kind of like <laughs> drama started happening, you know, with somebody and like everybody left and like yeah. There, we saw it. So anyway, I finally saw it. And then I ended up seeing it a second time. I went to visit a friend who had a friend from, uh, 
that I didn't know, you know, some girl, they were, they were working together actually. And, and, um, it was, it was crazy because this was in Tulsa and he had, uh, like somebody had tried to break into his house. So this was before I got there. So he had like stayed up all night, you know, and he like yeah. hadn't had any sleep and we were over there. And anyway, when we were over there, we were like, okay, he's trying to figure out how to get in, you know, he's going to have to get an alarm. Anyway, he just like passed out pretty much. And then she and I like were sitting there and we just watched Clockwork Orange. And the crazy thing is like, I don't know what she had done. I think it was something kind of like minor, you know, but like she had just gotten out of prison. Like, Oh, nice. That's always so a nice I guy, actually, I, I watched Clockwork Orange <laughs> with, the, with some girl who had just gotten out of prison and it was blowing her mind. She's like, this movie is crazy. You know, and it's just, well, the, yeah, like, it's a, it's a pretty ridiculously wild movie. It is, you know? yeah. I think it's based got, in a, in like a future where the Nazis had actually won world war two. And it's sort of this weird, mm -hmm. just, I don't know, ideas that just got span around. And yeah. If you like milk, it's a good movie for you. It's a disturbing awesome. movie, but it's made really well, you know. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, so yeah, um, the, oh, my people. favorite thing actually about that movie is they uh -huh. have all these. It's it's the first movie where they had, uh, I think it was uh, like the first synthesizer ever. You know, like the first electronic synthesizer. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. Like, I'm, there might have been a theremin or something before that, and like some cool like Wild West film or something, but uh -huh. like they did all these really cool renditions of like Mozart inspired classical music on like the world's first, first synthesizer. And it's, that's what I like the most about it. I would say, yeah, the music's really yeah. rad. Yeah. It's a something <laughs> crazy to see for sure. Anyway, um, we were also talking about doing a, uh, from the lighthouse keeper, we were talking about, you know, maybe doing the Eddie stone, like the new version of the Eddie stone light. And yeah. you, know, you know, you and I can do it, but uh, so we're still figuring out, you know, how we're gonna um, play some songs together on here. We might have to, you know, do some of them pre-recorded. Um, some of them we might do in some kind of free yeah. time, or, or like somebody muting out the headphones <laughs> because there's a delay on the sound. We've already, you know, tried this like playing together live on a video call, and it, it's like this minor delay in sound where it just like gets out of sync. And maybe in the future they'll have that It'll figured latency. out. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It seems like a difficult thing. Cause you, it's like you need instant connection of data. You know, you have to make whatever's coming on my computer reach your computer instantaneously. You know, that's yeah. where the latency comes from. Yeah, like, I, I believe in the future, though. I mean, anything's possible. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've sent I've sent some messages where. Um, they've come back so fast. Like I've almost thought, you know, they've gone through a, like a time warp, like time travel or something. You know, I've sent a message like over, like across the sea, you know, to Asia or something. And like immediately it's been like, Bloop. I'm like, what the hell, you know, is this like going through some sort of black hole and coming back to me? This just seems Dude, impossible. You know? like, how can it's like hype that fast? Crazy conspiracy well? theory. And like it freaked me out. Cause I was like, man, this could be real, you know, like, Oh my God. But, uh, it's the idea that there is uh, artificial intelligence that is so yeah. intelligent that it's actually from the future and it's communicating with us and controlling us because it's oh, like, wow. it's so advanced that it's like, we're the ones who are behind the, the, the robots are ahead of time. And we're just sort of like, you know, <laughs> just catching up. So maybe I'm just, I think that's a conspiracy theory and I'm not really a conspiracy theorist. But it's fun to, you know, yeah. listen to the ridiculousness. <laughs> there are a lot of yeah theories out there. I'm not a conspiracy theorist either, but out of so many conspiracy theories, you know, maybe there's at least a one or a few that are true. You know, um, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, there's another one where there's, there's like there's some people who think that we're actually from uh, Mars and came here, and then but you know you know on those like ancient alien shows. Can you hear me? I mean, you never know, man. Maybe we're just like rehydrated. You know, they just poured water on us. Maybe we just came as like a powder and we just sort of just formed. And now it's like a terrestrial earth. You know, maybe the al I have a song called uh, The Aliens Are Coming Here to Save Us. And it's yeah. this idea that um, there's like this cool alien race out there that is uh, 
going around to various rocks and things floating through space. And they're basically just kind of growing human beings as like a crop. You know, they just plant it or like not human beings, but just life itself. Like, like think of like the, the planet, it's like a seed, you know? So like they're farming us with their seeds and we're finally growing and the aliens are coming here to save us. But what they're really doing is they're coming here to harvest us or something, you know, for their future endeavor. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a lot of stuff, you know, going on out there in people's brains. Um, so we should change the subject too before we attract too many nutters on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next thing you know, man. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's talk about finance. <laughs> finance. Just kidding. Okay, so <laughs> I just got a, I just got a message about this um, about uh, uh, YouTube con- congratulating uh, Willie Cry Records YouTube channel for getting over a hundred uh, subscribers, um, and I was. I was gonna say um, <laughs> that uh, yeah, thanks for everyone subscribing and wait, you know I got just the sub celebration. Everyone watching this, you know, go ahead and, and do all that stuff. Hit the subscribe button, like in honor dis- of uh, Willie Cry Records. In honor of Willie like, Cry yeah, Records, you know, reaching comment. 100 subscribers. <laughs> what you got there? Just play. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Go Willie Cry Records! <laughs> nice, I didn't know you had a trombone. Just pull it out of, you know, just in my yeah, pocket. Put that, put that in, uh, I want you to put that in one of my songs. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm down. I don't, it's hard for me to have an opportunity to play it. That's why I was so excited just to go run over and grab it. But, uh, cause it's like, what am I going to do with the trombone? you know yeah you just play it in a song here and there it's hard to play i'm not like a good enough trombone player to play solo because in fact i hardly know how to play it at all so practicing it just feels like a drag you know for my neighbors yeah (laughs) oh yeah there's certain instruments that are really hard to just to learn because you need like to just go outside so i'm gonna get away from everybody like a violin is one of the worst ones you know yeah i got one of those too it's really loud yeah i could I want to um, get a baritone horn. That's what I'm thinking about getting. It's like this cool, like, boom, boom. It's like a little uh, ch- uh, tuba, basically. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I got some songs I like to put a horn section in. But um, back to yeah. the uh, back to the the YouTube thing. What was it? What was it going on about? Um, yeah, it's just like uh, really difficult to to get a YouTube channel going because I've heard. Uh, you know, I've heard before that there's up to 50 hours of uh, video that's uploaded to YouTube every day, which is crazy. Correction, that's 50 years of video added every day. So you, you can make a channel and just, uh, you know, you can get some videos that'll get like a bunch of views, but like to, to grow the channel with subscribers and everything. I think it's actually a, a thousand subscribers. So um when when it gets there is when they start putting it into their algorithm thing and it starts popping up in other places. But to anyone, you know, the who's watching them network of, of uh, YouTube views. <laughs> yeah. You know, but, uh, you know about the mycelium network? You ever hear of that? Mycelium? Yeah. What's that? So mycelium networks, it's like a fungus mushrooms. Uh, there's mm-hmm. like a, it's like a dust basically to put it really simply. There's like a, like a dust of this uh, mycelium network. It's, it's what allows these mushrooms networks to um, kind of like if it rains, it will disturb the dust and then mushrooms will start to grow. That's why you can find mushrooms after like a rainstorm. But Mm -hmm. it's been proven that plants um, within like the forest can actually use that network to communicate to other plants, which is pretty cool. So I was thinking of it's kind of like the mycelium network is kind of like the, the algorithm Sort of uh, yeah. the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I was reading. I was reading recently about like plants like communicating to each other. Yeah, in that. Yeah, like, well, that's one of the ways they do it, I guess. They think I'm, they no, can, I'm not a biologist or whatever. That's for I think sure. Think they can maybe feel pain, like like they can like audit, they can hear them scream. Some Bubba them. used to always say that uh, you can hear the trees scream. You listen. Yeah, there's a song that he and I wrote a long time ago, and we, we made a new version of it um, about uh, dinner 
a dinner party and it, it just this crazy song where there's these like you know vegetarians and carnivores and in between yeah. or vegans all showing up to the same dinner party and it gets all crazy Dude, i made like, some artichokes <laughs> i pulled them out i pulled the artichokes out of the oven and they were just like they were screaming oh no oh, i was man. like oh my goodness this little it's just the air pressure you know steam so, coming out of them yeah um one other thing I, I was gonna say out to any people watching this is like you know to check out like on the featured channels um down below uh people got the you know their their own their own channels with their own videos and we also we've got like albums you can stream on there so go have a listen to those and um anyway uh i never had you know i have so many um there's just so many accounts you know i could never keep track of uh all the social media accounts it's like it's like dizzy and so a lot of the times i just don't even i just don't even mess with it for a long time like when youtube first came out like you know we were playing in the band uh the guards and in okc and so one of our friends made a youtube page for us and then i think that one has been deactivated since then and but mm. Um, some people would try to type type it in and like the certain spelling it just wouldn't come up So we were always cursed with YouTube. It's like nothing would come up at all. Oh, yeah cause It's G-A-R-D-E-S, <laughs> like, right? And, so, and then so later on, you know, I made a um, made a made a YouTube uh, Another YouTube channel, but then the band wasn't playing live So then I made my own and I was like, well I'm gonna have some fun like making a label learn how to you know, just make a website and you know uh, just kind of link some people together and then so I made another one for Willie Cry Records and then I was making this like uh, you know just different things you know I had this this uh, show like little short episodic thing called Reality Sort of which is also a playlist on here mm -hmm. if anybody wants to check that out it's got travel your, your travels from, through China and stuff right yes like over in Asia China India and Thailand that one's down there oh. for right now um, I've seen a few this, of those. They're, some of them are really, it's cool. It's fun to like uh, see the sort of world you were living, you were like traveling yeah, through. I, I like those videos too. And I, I just wanted to post them because uh, I had a, a ton of videos before that I never did anything with. And I was always thinking of, you know, maybe doing something with them. But then I lost all of them. Like I lost like so many hours of footage. So I was like, well, I might as well. And I still am sitting on a ton of stuff that I've never even gotten out there. And I'm just like, might as well just start posting stuff, you know, before yeah. I lose it or whatever. And um, it's easier to store it, you know, on, on the cloud, yeah. so to speak. <laughs> the the reality sort of uh, episodes were um, are supposed to be uh, put on this uh, new platform. It's kind of like an underground Netflix, but they're they're still like in startup mode, and they're based out of Minneapolis. And I just met with the guy the other day on a video call and um there's they're still building it up but uh, i have to do all these things where i have to put like subtitles to everyone so it's kind of complicated and i have to make sure i have oh, wow. the right all the music so um basically all the ones that are on youtube i have to like i have to re-edit some of them to put them on it's called sika tv yeah and sika? um sika tv sika tv they have some interesting stuff on there it, it, the, the platform looks really nice um Anyway, yeah, that's the one thing I was working on, but I posted these old ones on YouTube anyway, because it has a lot of like obscure music that I have, I have no idea how to find the people who like own these songs. And that's one of the reasons I liked doing it was because I was finding this like kind of cool, like uh, Thai 60s pop, you know, and like, <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, like anybody who sees this is going to discover it. So I leave a link to where people can find the music where I found it, but I don't know how to get a hold of these people so i put these on youtube and then i have to re-edit them if i use them on Sika tv anyway um so yeah uh i think um <clears throat> the other thing about when uh so i never knew which uh which channel to ever work on with with youtube with youtube or like other social media accounts but uh mm -hmm. anyway um yeah we got some plans to put uh several more things uh, up here on on uh this Willie Cry Records uh, channel, like I think maybe like later this week, we're gonna put like a little short film that was made in uh, Ponca City, um, Oklahoma. 
Oh, it's about cool. 17 minutes long. Uh, it's pretty funny. Um, it's called Freelance. And uh, yeah, it, it's like a whole idea. We have a whole idea for a movie that the movie the whole thing has never been made, but right now it's a, a short film and it's, you know, it's kind of a little rough around the edges with some of the audio and, and things, but I want to put the rough cut up there. So it, it, it's been made for a long time mm -hmm. and uh, nobody's seen it, but I, I <clears throat> what's it about? Anyway, it's about this dude who's just like, um, you know, on hard times and just like trying to uh, just, just, just working freelance and just like surviving and he gets into all these crazy situations. It's the modern day <laughs> guy trying to survive in the gig economy world, eh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like when we made it, it was a long time ago and it was when the, you know, the economy was real bad and it just always keeps coming around in a cycle where it's like real bad now again and it's just like time yeah. just to at least release it for now as a short film, you know? So if there's any, you know, people with, with any hype, you know, they want to, like do some more with it we can because we got more idea for the story i like that uh, video you made uh was it in portland is that where it was den's den den's right? den yeah. yeah yeah that one's funny like that den is awesome funny. that one is so, so funny great. yeah that one's on the willie cry records uh channel too oh really? that, that one nice yeah that one is fun it's funny i, thought I mean it was and really it's hilarious. Like, <laughs> we had such a limited time in making it that uh that by the end, you know, like my camera was breaking and uh, you can tell that like it gets just like quicker made at the end, like, because <laughs> it won't hold the battery charge. So we have to make everything just faster, you know, and we just barely, barely, barely like finished it before I had to like get on a plane. Um, so, yeah. That's classic, that, man. Oh, classic. Sorry, I'm in a rush. I got to catch a plane, you know, <laughs> I got somewhere I gotta, to be. <laughs> There is, I got just one funny story about the freelance uh, video that we're going to post right here. So, uh, uh, um, the story is, uh, okay, I'm not going to reveal too much, but basically there's a, there's a fight, there's a, there's a bar fight brawl in, in, in the, um, in, in the movie. And, um, uh, so this has never had a screening before, like I said, but the actor, uh, Sean Buller, is our friend here? Um, he he's the one starring as freelance in it. And uh, wait, D. Sean wait. Buller. Sean Buller. Yeah, the Sean that that guy. No way, that's <laughs> amazing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no offense, but, Sean. Yeah. I'm sure you're a great actor. I met him. I'm sure you, I just haven't heard of you. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So he showed up uh, one night to. Okay, so. This part was filmed in the Fox bar, you know, and it's, it's one of the only bars in Ponca um, that has like live music still mm -hmm. right now. Um, and uh, anyway, he showed up with his laptop and he had like, you know, speakers and there's this big round wooden table in the bar where everybody hangs out. And he's like, OK, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, he's like, All right, let, let's show everybody this, because like several of the people who were in it, we're standing around and there may be like 10 or only 15 people there. Yeah. And uh, we start watching, watching it in the bar and, and the people are kind of watching it and laughing, you know, and then right whenever uh, the fight breaks out on the, in the, in the movie, um, there's the girl, like one of the girls that's in the movie, who's like in the fight scene, like uh, started like getting into a fight like in real life, like while that was going on. <laughs> she was like, she and some girl were like punching each other or something. And uh, Damn. they got thrown out. Yeah, they got thrown out. And uh, we were like, my, my friend, my friend Brad was standing there and goes, wow, he's like, that was ghetto. <laughs> and, uh, that was just like, that was the one screening. And I mean, what's the, what's the just odds of that happening? I know you go in there like trying to do like a fake fight and then a real fight happens. Yeah. You know, that's that was surreal. a disaster screening of freelance, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to, uh, host it, you know, later this week or next week sometime. Um, yeah. but one of the other things I just wanted to talk about real quick was just like how, when, how difficult it is building up a YouTube channel because you can't like, uh, share it you know like on a uh, facebook very much um with uh 
um, because they don't own it and they don't want people going over there. So people are always like sharing videos on YouTube, you see, and it's almost like nobody like is even like seeing them. So um, mm -hmm. anyway. Uh, yeah, it's a difficult thing to promote, especially because anything you use online to promote knows that you're trying to use it. So they want you to like pay to promote, yeah. you know, and it's kind of yeah. good. It's kind of a pain to, if you have to pay for promotion, oh, you know. Yeah. I was thinking about just like titling, like talking about just like, um, the difficulties of building a YouTube channel, just titling this video, like YouTube is a bitch. And then I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like YouTube will just bury that. <laughs> Nobody will ever see it. But yeah, is, YouTube probably wouldn't like that very much. But you have to like, treat YouTube with respect or else <laughs> YouTube won't treat but, you with respect. <laughs> put in like parenthetical, parenthetical, but totally amazing. <laughs> 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 but yeah, yeah. Like, YouTube is awesome. Awfully awesome. Terrifically, we terribly did, awesome. We, <laughs> we were like getting like electricity and water turned off and evicted and stuff and didn't even have the internet when like YouTube first came around. We like that was we were playing live all the time and like we didn't yeah. even have and actually everybody used uh, MySpace back then and they all flocked over, you know. It's like you you build up a MySpace page and then you're like, What well, I don't want to mess with anything anymore. You're just gonna build it up, everybody's gonna leave something else i like but, myspace i was in like high school or like I yeah. even in middle school when that was popular i made a bunch <laughs> of fake bands on myspace i had like a i had like an activist band called hempocracy and mm. i remember we had like this song that i recorded called save the trees and actually mm. if there's any fake band that should still be around it's probably that one because we still need to save the trees <laughs> but i had some other ones too <laughs> um i had this one song called the it was a metal song for the for the activist band called Gutenberg Must Die. It was about how like Gutenberg destroyed the world when he invented the printer's press because he started they started cutting down even more trees to make paper and they never looked back. So it's pretty pretty horrible song actually. <laughs> now you can do another one about the internet destroying the world. I think the internet will just do that itself. <laughs> I don't know. It's only a matter of time. We'll see. I mean, maybe we're destroying the world. We're on the internet, aren't we? Yeah. No, the internet's fun. You know, you can you can make yeah. you know long distance video calls like this. I remember when you had yeah, to it's, like it's so rad. Distance calls, you know. Um, right. Yeah. Collecting yeah. the what was it? You had to accept a collect call. Is that what it was? You Something could do a collect like call. And just pay long distance calls. I mean, like when we were in Alaska. You know, like phone service didn't work out there either, and we didn't have we didn't have the internet out there. So you know, I was that was there. awesome. That was like the last time in my life where I, I was completely mm -hmm. just like disconnected for a while. It was, felt pretty awesome looking back. Yeah. So it, it was always hard to build up, you know, something like YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the, the the second season when I was out there, we actually got the internet like towards the end of the season. I remember. Um. I was. Oh, really? Also, yeah, it's, it was when you were there. I was also in a. I vaguely remember that. It was wicked slow, though, right? Yeah, it was super slow. I mean, because a lot of the, everybody used to like go three miles into the town. The old laundry. Uh, by the way, like, yeah, we were living in a rainforest in Alaska. Um, doing a like. A <laughs> in the site thing. of the, uh, <laughs> it was we lived at the uh, this historical location. That used to be a, a tuberculosis sanitarium, right? That's what it used to be. You remember that? A That's lot where things. they sent people to die. And, and there was also a, like a huge camp out there. People who were getting ready Before to that, yeah. the Yukon. The gold mining the reenactment there. site was where we worked. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> this is maybe a, I've got like, a, we got some videos of that. And like, a, got a video called The Truth of Liarsville. Um, and, and, our, and, you know, a lot mm -hmm. of clips from there. I think we'll post those later. And, like, that's probably a whole other – that's a whole other can of worms to open, really. Yeah. The whole, that whole thing. There aren't um, enough fish in the, in the river for that many worms. <laughs> just going on about my disconnection from the Internet, the last thing is I, after that I was in China for, like, some years, you know, and, like, you can't even get on Google or Facebook or YouTube or anything like that. So I was – slow to the game with some of that stuff. Like I only just got an Instagram account not too long ago. And anyway, um, it gets dizzy with all that stuff. Uh, 
It's true. How about, um, I saw this uh, clip uh, that Emma had on her Instagram. Maybe we can like um, show the audience these. Uh, oh, these, the carrots. Um, yes. These like pageant winning vegetables that you have. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, just, you never know when they'll find them at the grocery store. But... <laughs> It's a very sexy carrot. <laughs> a little bit longer stride. I know, I really love the hip hop on this leg. <laughs> Twist. The model. Mm-hmm. Go on the side. I'm recording right now, yeah. Now I hit record too, so okay. It says recording above you, I think. So should be. Okay, working. so we're both recording. We'll both have it. Okay. Cool. So, so should I play the song on a guitar or a banjo? Do banjo. Banjo. Already did guitar. Yeah. 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 This banjo is cool. My friends at uh, Green Hair and let me borrow it. They're an awesome uh, bluegrass duo out of New Hampshire. What are they called? Green Heron. They've got this awesome album called Folk Heroes, but this, I am no folk hero, but this is a song. I'm taking that vaccine. I'm taking that vaccine. Gonna keep my lungs clean. I'm taking that vaccine, heavily medicated, highly educated, soon to be vaccinated. Cause I'm taking that vaccine, I'm taking that vaccine, I'm taking that vaccine, gonna keep my lungs clean. I'm taking that, I'm taking that vaccine. All right, everyone, that is Andrew Pollico on the banjo loaned to him by his friends, the Green Heron, a folk group out of New Hampshire. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> so Andrew, yeah, he can get pretty folky on you, but he's also got a lot of diverse sounds. You can check out his channel where he does a lot of, uh, you still doing the weekly videos right now or not because it's four degrees outside? <laughs> well, no, I was doing a bunch and then... Uh... I'm working really hard right now on laying down my electric guitar tracks for the next People Like You album. Um, okay. We're releasing it sometime this summer, I think. But I've got one track left for the guitars, and then it's vocals, and then it's a whole bunch of cans of worms. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, um, you can hop over there and check out some of that stuff. So Yeah, I've got I was tons of videos on my channel of uh, some cool songs I've written and been recording in the yeah. woods yeah you you definitely like to walk around in the woods yeah i've scared plenty of uh hikers i think they think i'm bigfoot or something <laughs> so that guy walk i like around. to i don't just walk i like run through the woods like yeah some of those videos i make like i, I remember i ran like five miles down this trail with a guitar and a mic stand i have like this portable recorder but then I like ran the completely wrong way and I had to run back. And this is, this is ridiculous. I saw some guy and he was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So that's cool. Do. Um, I was going to show off just a couple of these things. Actually, I, I haven't printed anything in a long time. So basically, okay. So, this was uh, actually, yeah, this was made, this was mostly like this improv thing that was made, um, recorded oh, partly right. in the city, in Oklahoma City, right here. Um, and it was with uh, some friends. Uh, it was a lot of improv and we added a few things on it. So, uh, yeah, cool. that was done sometime last year. Last year was real busy because, you know, it was a lot of just kind of hanging around. So this was an old, this is something that I put out in 2018, but never printed on anything. And it was this one. Damn, you and, look like you could be like a president or something. Wow, uh, windmill, sweet. 
just got these. Oh, cool. Actually, actually, yeah. Um, that windmill almost looks like a plane taking off too. Oh, wow. That's cool. It's fun to, to make these uh, endangered species of CDs. I, I gave a, <laughs> I gave a CD, I gave a couple to some friends as a Christmas present, and they were like, like thanks. Like I don't even have a CD player anywhere. But <laughs> you just put it in the stocking, and and it yeah. makes music. It's amazing. And I did this. This one's only two songs. Um, I'm seeing a well, lot of glare on the CDs. It, it's mostly a yeah. reflection of your window. <laughs> Last Shoot. day of July. Oh, yeah, last, day. Two, last day. There's of July. two songs on that one. Cool. And uh, that was done back in the summertime. Let me see. Um, and then, oh, yeah, this one was fun. This is four songs. Can you read that? Quarantine. Yeah. So that nice. one, that one's I got love that uh, picture. That, can I see that picture again on the front? Yeah. Trippy. This one's got four songs. Uh, the first two songs have Mario Amador from a uh, dinosaur boyfriend. I think we'll bring him on here soon. You can meet him. Watch. Uh, you guys. Know, I'm gonna do an impersonation of him. Ready? I've got my oh, impersonation. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All I'm right. Like, I'm, in, I'm in the ER. I swallowed a guitar pick. Oh, man. <laughs> man I, yeah. That, I don't. I still, so I'm gonna, I'm on my way to Oklahoma City tomorrow. I might see him tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm, I, I haven't even heard the story about how that happened, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I had to turn off. I got all these messages. Oh man, I got this new phone hooked up, and it's got so much spam. It's insane. Oh really? It's a new old phone because oh, um, wow. I, I don't have any luck with phones. Okay. I got this new phone last year yeah. and I couldn't get the autocorrect to stop working. And anyway, it just kind of like the phone ended up broken actually. You, <laughs> so I, wall. you must have thrown it I, at a wall. Well, <laughs> yeah, fuck you, um, autocorrect. <laughs> anyway, I got all this, broken too, but it, it's, I've had this thing for like eight years. Nah, that's a total lie. Like eight years. years. Three years. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I mean, um, this phone right here is the old phone and see, it's got some, mustaches on it but uh what do you do you pick the earwax to wax the mustache Disgusting. this is the this is the old phone but it's like um it's slow you know so you're not going to see me if, if anybody you know even would notice at all in that clusterfuck uh <laughs> you, won't, you won't see me on instagram for a little bit until i get the new phone because the the other phone that I had that was brand new, it was hooked up just before Christmas. I was like, I'm going to be very careful with this phone, you know? Oh, it hasn't man. been dropped or anything. And just the other night, I was just sitting there. I wasn't even touching it. It was like on the on the table by the chair. I look over at it, and I'm not <laughs> kidding. All the apps on it were just like shaking, like back and forth, like real fast, going back and forth. I'm like, wow. what the heck is going on? And then, and then since then... Like the the touch screen just wouldn't work, you know. It's like I mean, it would, like you mm -hmm. couldn't like, this wouldn't work. I mean, you could type things, but it would like you'd have to hit it like three or four times, or the swipe button wouldn't work, or it would just do way too little, too much. It was just crazy, and we hadn't yeah. even heard of a problem like that. So I have to send it back through FedEx tomorrow. <laughs> that's I'll a real get, pain. That's, a, that's yeah, annoying. Boom, all the all this technology, you know. I've been lucky with this thing. This thing will break every like few months. The, the touch yeah. string will completely stop. But then if I just give it a week, it fixes itself. It's been like that for years. I have like some stuff that's like that, that you just don't touch and it'll just fix itself. Like, like I think the battery dies and then it sort of like re rises. It's like from the ashes. It just gets dressed. <laughs> it, I think just needs, it's, it just needs some time to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I have this guitar amp that I've, it's just like, I've had different guitar amps, but I've had this one since I started, um, I've had it since I was like 13 years old, you know, and um, yeah, like since I first got an electric guitar and uh, it is, is still going, you know, like sometimes it's just like, it'll start screaming, you know, I don't use it very much, but then like, it's one thing that works where like you can just like kick it like as hard as you can and it'll start huh? working. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. I love yeah. that. That's, that's a cool thing about like things that used to be built, like the way things used to be built. 
you know, if it stops working, he's give it a hit and it's like fixed, you know, <laughs> now everything's yeah. built to break what's programmed obsolescence or whatever, you know, yeah. I will say though, that like guitar pedals and things I've had like a lot of luck with. It almost mm -hmm. seems like they've built guitar pedals well still compared to a lot of technology. My laptop is, is a trooper, man. Like it, it keeps Mine going. Mine too. Yeah. Going. Yeah. So like, a lot of electronic stuff, but I, I almost think that I have some sort of radiation in me that's just like making it like melt inside or something. And But my laptop, um, I fell down the stairs and like <laughs> some weeks ago, I just slipped. Oh, man. And it's the first time, and, and, and it's the first time here I ever fell down the stairs. You know, I mean, I was completely sober. Like uh, the, the, the stairs have been like, polished so smooth that they're just absolutely dangerous i was walking down in socks <laughs> i just flew up in the air hard hardwood stairs and i was like oh no the laptop just went flying you know and i was like i started like climbing down the stairs like trying to catch it <laughs> this it's got some it's got some like scars on it but it's working fine as you can see that's awesome <laughs> what part <laughs> The fact that your computer still works. Yeah, and right. The, and the fact that you <laughs> fell. Like, that's awesome. No, I'm just kidding. I, well, I fell down. Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? No, I didn't hurt myself, really. I mean, it was kind of for a second. But yeah, um, I, I did fall down an entire flight of stairs one time uh, when, I was, when I was a kid. Because we mm -hmm. used to, like, spy when we were kids, you know? We'd do that game. I was, like, seven years old. And my friend, my friend, like... Uh, I lost my balance like at the top because he kind of like turned around like, you know, just to be like, wait, wait, wait a second, you know? And uh, I just like tumbled like completely over like uh, Oh man. And well, when I, you're a kid, I, you can kind of handle that sort of and I got stuff, to the right? bottom, and I just got up and I was just completely fine. You know, it was a whole yeah. <laughs> That was cool. a rough. I've definitely anyway, fallen down some stairs blackout drunk, and, but I don't yeah, really remember it. it. Must have been fun. I don't know. <laughs> you have? That was a long time ago. That was a lot, no, you know. Like a party at my house, I remember like waking up. I think the next day, and like, I was like, "Man, my my whole body really hurts." And someone's like, "Yeah, dude, you fell down all those stairs." I was like, "What? Really? No I, way." <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, I don't usually fall down in in any state, but uh, there. Were, yeah, me neither. I'm usually pretty uh, well balanced. At this so, old bar that we used to play at here. Um, there were there were a couple of old guys. They were uh, it was at this v VFW that was called the V, and it turned into like this live music venue, and all these like younger you know kids were like hanging out, and there was live music going. But there were a couple of old guys like in their seventies or eighties that hung out there every day, drinking, and uh, yeah, they would buy us drinks when we were playing. Anyway, we got to know them. They'd sit with us, and one of the old guys left one night. He was probably close to eighty years old. He because it was downstairs. He walked oh, up, man. and he fell down the entire stairs and people were like, Oh, he fell down the stairs. And then, uh, the, uh, like the, the, the paramedics came, you know, like the, the ambulance came and we're just like, like asking him questions. And he just started like yelling at him and just like, he's like, you know, like, he's like, get the hell out of here or whatever. And he just like, got oh, up. He went, he went back. Like he, uh, he just went back down the stairs bathroom. again. <laughs> but he went back inside, like used the bathroom and he just, got up and like he like he wouldn't let anybody like take me where he's got in his car and drove off and then he was back at like he yeah i guess like yeah when you're drinking it you know it's true that it limbers you up you know yeah i mean if you're older you got to be careful about some of that stuff because if you injure yourself in a way especially if you're drunk you may not realize if you're actually injured and then something can go wrong you know but you know you're seven years old and you fell down the stairs just pick up, keep walking. <laughs> Got, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to mention yeah, the guy who instigated this CD. I, I had no idea this was going to happen, but he just insisted. He showed up from California. He used to what live in What is that Oklahoma. CD called? I can't remember. Oh yeah, it's called Crockpot Chili. You can go to willycrywrecords.com oh, cool, yeah. yeah. and yeah. link to these. And he's a DJ and his, um, he goes by different names. He goes by Oklahoma Holmes. And, yeah. um, like he's, you know, he like spins records and, and scratches and all that. And he has a YouTube channel called The Arise One. And I didn't know that until the other day that like, that he's like, he's like famous for giving bad Floby haircuts because <laughs> he has a, you know, Floby? What is a Floby? 
It's like that vacuum cleaner haircut that you like uh, put. Oh, in, like, so a, like it's like it, yeah, it, like cuts at the same length everywhere. I've gotten some flobies, but oh, cool. He, yeah, if I get a, a haircut, I'll get a floby haircut. <laughs> That'll be my next haircut. I like to say that I would get a froby, you know, like yeah, that's funny. You man, <laughs> they make would, and they cut it all the same. <laughs> I, if I had just got my haircut, I don't know if I could handle waiting that long to get my hair cut again to make that joke i feel like i would just be like i just need to go to the salon and say I, I, i'll take a froby please <laughs> is that where you get a, a floby at a salon or something like that what do they call it hair you parlor just, you just buy one you hook it up to your vacuum cleaner and, the, and then you don't have to like worry about messing it up you know it's supposed to be real easy but his video <laughs> like, the guard falls off and he messes this guy's hair up and he got like he has like hundreds of thousands of views on this video over there. I'll, I'll tag it in the, in, in yeah, the description. Yeah, below. yeah I'll and, check uh, that out. He ended up somehow from this video interviewed like by the, like on a cover story, I think of the Wall Street Journal. It's pretty weird. It's just because anyway, vacuum cleaner. Wow. Another one, uh, speaking of people that. Uh, the Wall Street Journal must have some seriously good publications. <laughs> There's a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant called Enrique's in Ponca City, Oklahoma, that yeah. like got written up in this like sort of glowing review in the Wall Street Journal of all places. Um, oh wow! Because it's like part of this uh, small town airport, and people like all these people from around the country like started to know of this restaurant, and they stop there for lunch at Enrique's, and they have my favorite chips and and salsa because they make their own chips and like these like fat chips. Oh, interesting. They're like bigger yeah. than your average chip. Yeah, they're like kind of um, like thicker or like larger. There's there, there's like uh, how do you say it? It's like hollow, you know. Like uh, there's oh, like space. Oh, they, they're, they're puffier. Kind of like, they're puffier. They're puffy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Puffier. Puffy chips. Yeah, and they're tasty, and they make their own salsa, I think. But uh, interesting. Back to uh, speaking of people who... Uh, I used to make some... chips for a living, and that's the only reason I'm so interested. Oh, you did? I, I did it for a second, yeah. Yeah, I worked at a burrito place, you know, and I'd make the chips sometimes. <laughs> Chip maker. Um, Sean Adams, uh, a friend in uh, yeah. who, who was in Alaska when we were in Skagway, Alaska, I, I guess. Um, he was he talking who rips about. trees from the ground with bare hand. <laughs> he was talking about falling down the stairs one time when he was like the night before when he had like made it to work at like eight seven in the morning or something but yeah anyway he took the picture to this one at that at, at that ragged ass road yep <laughs> that one yeah yep. yeah so that's a like you're like on the way to Dai. yeah from skagway you, you take that road up Dai was like a and it's like an abandoned town, right? It's like it's not even really a town. It used to be a town back There's during the gold rush, and now it's pretty. Yeah, it's a big old salt flat. Yeah, spotlight's cool. I remember I took a bunch of pictures out there once when I I took like a bike ride all the way to Dai from where we lived by the Skagway River, and uh, there was just so many black flies. Though I remember taking a picture and just like my entire hands were just covered in flies. I was like, <laughs> gotta get back on the bike and get out of here while I still can. It was cool. Yeah, though. I saw the, I would see the, the grizzly bears, brown bears, whatever, chilling out yeah. there. Yeah. Salt flats. Well, what were you saying about the ragged ass road though? It's on the way from. Skyway oh, I was just, I was saying that. Uh, I, th I remember that road because I remember when I went on that bike ride. I remember biking by that sign and seeing Ragged Ass Road and thinking like, yeah. that's kind of funny. I, I probably even like took a picture of it with my like, flip phone at the time or something. Uh, but it, And then when you brought it up, I was like, I've definitely like been to that road before. And I, and I asked you, I was like, so that was like on the way to Dai, you take that hill. And you were like, yep. I was like, yep, that's cool. <laughs> I remember that spot. Yeah, so we got... Um... You played you played guitar on this song called uh, yeah. Ragged Ass Road and, and Bubba came in singing and um I honestly like this this is kind of it was almost like a compilation sort of it was a bunch of old songs that I was that I thought they were recorded real roughly but I thought they turned out all right 
-hmm. and I was going to put them together. They were almost like throwaway songs to me, but I liked them too much. I was like, I'm just going to put them together in a collection. And I thought it's kind of a, it's kind of like a ragged sort of collection. And I thought of this picture right here and I was like, well, I'll just put this as the cover because they're kind of like ragged ass songs. <laughs> And, yeah. and I, you know, I'm laughing on the cover and the, the other one I showed you earlier, I was just like, so like, yeah, like you said, serious, like presidential or something. No, not presidential at all. Yeah. But, uh, well, you the had, thing it's is, hard to look, um, not serious back in those days. Cause they weren't taking pictures. They were literally drawing you. It's like, you can't just sit there. Like, no, like when the know? photograph first came out, <laughs> I mean, that's the way people like, posed for pictures as these families, you know, these like in the 1800s and they're just like, so just like, just stern, you know? <laughs> the I, whole I, I can't even like look stern because I have like too much hair on my face to like, I just, it, it back, uh, facial expressions. It back, you know, uh, Mario, the dinosaur boyfriend, uh, yeah. he, he, he was a, he was staying here one time for a little bit, like in the guest room. And there's the, all these like, generational like family pictures in there that oh, are like cool. old like black and white like 1800s and like uh, scooby-doo paintings they're all, they're all just like sitting there just glaring and he came he came out of the room one day he's like man he's like that room is scary in there <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome he's like i'm yeah, terrified so, i think i'm possessed by ghosts now <laughs> so anyway on this on this album like right here um it's us in in california uh Mm -hmm. We um basically was that in Monterey? Uh, That's where that was, right? Yeah, it was in Monterey. Um, that place had, had the worst tasting tap water I've ever tasted in my life. Yeah, dude. I don't even remember. Dude, I thought I thought I was drinking like bleach. It was just so gross. <laughs> <laughs> Not the restaurant, but the the hotel or whatever we stayed in. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, last year uh, I. Uh, ended up, you know, just wanted to play with the condenser microphones I have. So I, I ended up like retracking, adding a lot of tracks and then adding some other songs. Oh, cool. So it ended up being like, it's all like new. Nice. It turned it out, you know, sounding, uh, there's some of the old uh, lo-fi tracks on it. And then like the, you know, the, the, the newer stuff on it. So it turned out into this like new kind of album. So like, and Sweet. you're playing guitar. So I basically just wrote the Ragged Ass Road song because of this picture. Um, <laughs> And then I was like, oh, this song's okay. But I gave it to you and I loved what you did with it. That once you like gave it back, you know, with, with, with those parts, I was like, actually, uh, this song is much better now. So we can play it right now for nice. every one second. It's kind of long. It's been a while play. since I've even heard it. I don't even really remember what I played on it. So I'm excited to hear it. Ragged ass road is where I often roll. Often walk. Often told Ragged ass road It's where I often stroll My good ideas All the toe Thinking of ways to make them see Make them see Thick head and lunacy Trying to find a way to reach the top Reach the top Every sign it says stop You can't find Torch. I 
to our channels and check out these albums and they're also on spotify go there and um yeah we want to bring some more people on here and uh do some more of these whatever it's called i don't know what this is called is this a it's on a this podcast is just a couple of people talking about some stuff and if you're out there in the world and you're you're sitting there and you're not talking about some stuff well you can always be listening to some stuff and that's yes. what we're letting you do but you, and we remind you to hit the subscribe buttons and all that stuff, you know, like, dislike if you want. But we like to hear what you have to say, comment wise and everything. Share, uh, check if out. You have a, you know, if you're watching this on an iPhone or something, see if you can mm -hmm. hit the subscribe button with your nose. Might work. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I've never tried. <laughs> Actually, I'm yeah. curious to see if that would work. <laughs> Here's one thing. I was thinking about uh, songs. And then especially album titles, you know, that, that like people have released that are like different songs by different people, but it's, they got the same title, you know? Oh yeah. And because, uh, because, um, it turns out, because I stopped like searching, trying to do Google searches to see if things were called the same thing a long time ago. You know, I was just like, whatever, you know, there's so much stuff out there. Just, I'll like, do that with lyrics. Sometimes if I'm like writing a song. And uh, I have like a chorus and it sounds wicked catchy or something. I'll like Google it just to make sure that the words haven't been written right, in right. that like order. And you, it almost yeah. never is. So I'm, uh, I've lucked out with that a lot. But I used to be like real careful about that stuff all the time and just tried like if, if there was anything that was like remotely close, you know, I'd be like, nah, 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 nah. But like now I've gotten a lot more, uh, you know, with people um, just like kind of borrowing from each other and just like building on top of it. I've gotten a lot more lax about that, especially I guess like when you, you're playing like folk sort of music or blues. I mean like all music and everything, like people kind of, you know, just like kind of, you know. Yeah, it's it's not like a, it's a poem or something that you're copying word for word, you know, it's like, yeah, you're just it's like, like words with music and it's, it's all about the style that it's being sung and everything, you know? Yeah. I, I'm a huge fan of writing songs that are, and like using, not like you know song modern day songs or anything that are have like lyrics that have been written but it's fun to do like playing play on the words of like old classic sayings you know what i mean like yeah something as sim simple as like row 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 your boat or something gently down the stream you know it's like that could be taken metaphorically in so many different ways you know you can just sort of switch it up I just think of it as everybody's just like building this thing like in their own way and like sometimes you know like ideas overlap and you're kind of working on the same thing and sometimes and you know like people and it's fun like to pay homage to like old yeah. songs and old styles by including it into a modern song you know well folk music was always that way where you know like there would be like a, a melody that would exist and like people would just like change the words like these so many types of verses and sometimes it'd be a, just a different song and you know melodies Everything would yeah. change, time, but people would share and then do their own thing. But so now I'm, I'm not as worried about having things that are the same name. I like to say, you know, there's a bunch of people out there, you know, named John. But my point was that um, Bubba, 
Bubba, who was singing on this, like wanted to check it out on a uh, YouTube and he typed it in and we found out there's another album and song called Ragged Ass Road and it's by <laughs> Tom Cochran. So I kind of blew it on that one. Maybe I wouldn't have done the album, uh, named it this if I knew, but it, it's too late now. And uh, so I listened to his <laughs> song and the strange enough, uh, he's singing about the land of the midnight sun in the song. So I'm like wondering oh, like man. how many ass roads are there up there in alaska you know or is he in skagway turns out alaska has the highest percentage of ragged ass roads in the country <laughs> probably <laughs> they probably the do right different. yeah it's such a um, huge land mass i was thinking of i was watching Shit's creek just the other oh, well i've been I watching haven't that seen that but my girlfriend loves that and not just my girlfriend but my grandmother told me she loves to watch that show it's it's funny man uh I, I love Eugene Levy's eyebrows, man. I'm like, are those real? You know, or is it like Groucho <laughs> Marx or something where he like boils them He's got on. some wild eyebrows. Um, but they're talking about how like the town, uh, the shit town or whatever they're in uh, is like, they're like, this is this, this skaggy town. Like I'm like, skaggy. Skagway? Like, Skagway? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, skag means. Um, yeah, actually get out of here, you skag. You know, that must mean it, something mean. The dictionary definition of skag is n number one meaning is heroin and number two is an unattractive oh. woman. <laughs> so, yeah, skag way. Um, well, I mean, like, die. I'm all about like, uh, you know, every type of person, and everything. But I'm just trying to think of the sorts of women who probably made it up to the gold mining, you know, ventures back in the day. P-hole Annie. P-hole Annie, yes. What, did you, <laughs> what was the story? P-hole. P-hole? <laughs> that was P-hole. Oh, man. that's. I always used to tell it this way. that I thought it was a – there was this prostitute, and she would get paid in a – in a, a what was it? Like a, 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 a pinch of gold. She could reach in and grab as much gold out of the purse or whatever as she could, and that was her payment for her services. Right. But what she would do is she would hold – this P in between her fingers and she would hold it as hard as she could. So it would leave a little hole, like an indentation in her uh, thumb. So I thought that's why they called her P hole. <laughs> but I guess it's P hull. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah, there's a lot of stories about up there. We'll save those for another one. I, I want, yeah. I wonder how long this one is. Is there anything else for this one? Or we can just add to it the next one. If, if there's something we forgot, you know, just keep it going. I mean, I would just say that I hope that if, if anyone out there is listening, that, uh, you know, they're having a nice day. Yeah, and staying healthy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's important, you know. And uh, most of all, just create some art or something. Stay inspired. And that's about it. All right. Well, this was fun. And if everyone, you know, um, uh, just... Uh, yeah enjoy and um come come join the channel over here don't forget to subscribe and <laughs> I I know, if you want to be in the video or something if you're interesting like maybe you could one day you know if you're watching yes okay so we'll we'll uh we'll check back with you soon and um sounds good all right good talking to you brett